orbital group, orbicularis oculi, palpebral part, origin is medial palpebral ligament, insertion is lateral palpebral raphe, nerve supply is the facial nerve, in fact all the facial muscles are supplied by the facial nerve, function closes the eyelids gently, orbital part, origin nasal part of frontal bone, frontal process of maxilla, medial palpable ligament, insertion, fibers form an uninterrupted ellipse around orbit, function, closes the eyelids forcefully, lacrimal part lies behind the lacrimal sac, it arises from posterior lacrimal crest and lacrimal fascia forming a sheath of lacrimal sac that passes laterally in front of tarsal plates of both eyelids to be inserted into the lateral palpebral raphe. Action. It dilates the lacrimal sac by exerting traction on the lacrimal fascia, thus helping in the drainage of lacrimal fluid. Crow's feet. The contraction of entire orbicularis oculi draws the skin of forehead, temple, and cheek towards the lateral angle of the eye, producing radiating skin folds from the lateral angle of the eye which may be a permanent feature in some old people, forming the so-called crow's feet. Corrugator supercilii Origin Medial end of the superciliary arch Insertion Skin of the medial half of eyebrow Function Draws the eyebrows medially and downward, producing vertical wrinkles on the forehead, as in frowning and expression of annoyance. Other muscles Frontalis. It is already explained in the section on scalp. The frontalis elevates the eyebrows and produces transverse wrinkles on the forehead as an expression of surprise, horror, or fright, innervated by temporal branch of facial nerve. Occipital belly is innervated by posterior auricular branch of facial nerve. Levator palpebra superioris. It is not a muscle of the face, but one of the orbital muscles. It is innervated by oculomotor nerve, hence described under orbit. Levator palpebrae superioris is an antagonist to the sphincteric action of palpable part of orbicularis oculi. It elevates the upper eyelid. Nasal group. Nasalis. Transverse part. Compressor nares arises from maxilla just lateral to nose across the bridge of nose where it becomes continuous with its counterpart on the opposite side. Insertion Eponeurosis across dorsum of nose with the muscle fibers from the other side. Action Compresses nasal aperture. Alar part or dilator nares arises from the maxilla from the margin of the nasal notch and is inserted into the lateral part of the ala of the nose. It dilates the anterior nasal aperture as in deep inspiration. It also expresses the anger. Proserus. It arises from nasal bone, passes upward to be inserted into the skin of the lower part of the forehead. It produces transverse wrinkles across the bridge or root of the nose as in frowning. Depressor septi. It arises from the incisive fossa of the maxilla and is inserted into the lower mobile part of the nasal septum. It pulls the nose inferiorly and it fixes the nasal septum to allow dilatation of anterior nasal aperture by dilator nares.